Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly. This is Bentley, and I'm here to bring you another anti-haul video. Now, before I get into it, I do want to say thank you to the people who pointed out that Kimberly Clark was the originator of the anti-haul. Um, there was also another one of my viewers who said that in Kimberly Clark's anti-haul number five, I think it is, um, that she goes through kind of what an anti-haul is and what it isn't. So I'm going to link Kimberly Clark's anti-haul number five video so that if you guys want some background on how the anti-hauls got started, you can find it there. Now I am thinking that this is going to be a monthly series for me because there are always new products coming out in the beauty world and I just can't buy them all. Like, for, for one reason or another, I just can't buy them all, and I thought that this would be a good way to just kind of share my opinion with you and uh, touch base on products that I won't be buying. Now, a disclaimer, I am not saying that these products are bad. I'm not saying that these companies are bad. Oftentimes, I like the companies, and I might even like the product. There's just something about it that is making me personally not want to purchase this product, and that does not mean that you shouldn't purchase it. If you see it, if you want it, if you like it, you should get it. There was also a viewer who asked if I could leave the picture up the whole time that I'm talking, so I'm going to try to do that for you today. The first product that I'm not going to be buying is the Tarte Pro Glow Palette. Now, all of these companies are coming out with palettes that are glow palettes with highlights. Anastasia has her glow kit. Now, Tarte has this glow kit. I know Too Faced is coming out with a peach glow kit. All of these companies are coming out with highlight kits, and I'm just not a highlight kit kind of person. I do like individual highlights. I love to wear highlight, but I don't feel like I need a highlight kit just simply because not every color is going to be flattering on my skin. Now this Tarte Pro Glow does have, I think it's four highlight shades, a cream contour, and then a contour shade. Um, but I'm just concerned that the powder products are going to get into the cream contour. I don't really cream contour. I don't know that the contour will work with my fair skin and my red hair. So just for those reasons alone, I'm gonna pass on the Tarte Pro Glow palette. Next is another highlight palette and it's the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Glow Kit or whatever it's called. I'll insert a picture. But it's her newest glow kit and I think it's supposed to be like the ultimate glow kit. I do not have any of Anastasia's glow kits and it's just simply because I feel like not all of the highlighters in the kit are going to work well with my skin tone. With my skin being so fair, I have a hard time with shades that are highlight shades. Like even, what is it? Even Becca's collab with Jaclyn Hill Prosecco Pop is too gold for my skin tone. So just because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to use all of the highlight shades, that's why I'm passing on the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit. My next product is the Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Edition Everything. I, um, I'm not gonna be getting anything from her holiday Edition. I wouldn't mind getting her holiday minis. I'm not going to purchase them, but like if they were gifted to me or something, I would be very happy with that. But the eyeshadow palette just doesn't appeal to me. And the cream shades, they're $20 each. I just don't know that I would get enough wear out of them before they would dry out. She does have a lot of fun lip colors, and I do love her lip products, but at this time, I don't feel like I want any more of her lip products, and I don't really want the eyeshadow kit, the holiday edition eyeshadow kit, because those aren't colors that I'm going to wear. I would like to own camo, but the problem is it's $20, and I'm not going to be wearing like all of eyeshadow every single day. For that reason alone, I'm going to have to pass on Kylie's Holiday Edition makeup. That brings me to Jeffree Star's Holiday Collection. I actually don't own anything from Jeffree Star. I've gone back and forth on wanting to try his liquid lippies. Um, and There are some awesome colors in the Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. However, I just don't 
think that his brand is for me. There are some things that I've seen on social media, um, and I'm not gonna lie, there are times when I watch his videos, I am familiar with him, but I just, I just don't want to support his brand at this time. And for personal reasons that pertain to my opinion, things that I have seen on social media, at this time, his brand is not for me. Moving right along to the ColourPop Peach Collection eyeshadows. I have a love-hate relationship with ColourPop eyeshadows. I love them in the sense that I think they're beautiful and there are so many shades that stand out to me that I would like to own and purchase, but the hate part of the relationship is that I just can't get good pigmentation unless I'm using my fingers. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mind using my finger now and then to apply a nice lid shade, but like I can't apply a crease shade with my finger and I've tried several different brushes. I've tried synthetic, I've tried natural hair. I just haven't found any brushes that work well with the ColourPop eyeshadows that I already have. Um, and so I just, I'm just gonna pass on ColourPop eyeshadows at this time. Then we have the Kat Von D's Matte Metal Palette. That thing looks huge. I actually don't have any Kat Von D shadows. I am interested in the future in looking into getting her, um, what is it, the contour palette that she has, but I don't have any of her shadows, so I can't tell you how the quality is, but I have seen her Metal Matte eyeshadow palette and it, the packaging is actually really cool if you hold it one way it says metal and then if you like flip it around it says matte and so I think that's really cool it's really creative that's really innovative but the shades in that palette are just shades that I wouldn't reach for often and I already do have a lot of eyeshadows I actually have an eyeshadow palette video that I can link below if you're interested in watching I can't even really wear them right now um, I'm still struggling with dry skin on my left eyelid. It's only on my left eyelid. I've talked to doctors and allergists and everybody says it's just like allergy related. Not like I'm having an allergic reaction on that eye. It's not from something I'm wearing. It's just that there are allergies in the air that are affecting my skin. And I'm not even really able to wear a lot of eyeshadow right now. So for me to continue, to buy more eyeshadow palettes would just be pretty silly at this time. Moving on to the Benefit Cheekathon palette. Now, I will not be purchasing this palette. However, I do think that it is a really good palette for you if you do not have any of the Benefit boxed blushes. I think it comes with Rockateur, Hoola, um, Dallas, oh, D um, Dandelion, is that a shade? I don't know, anyway, there are several blushes and the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. However, I do already own Rockateur and Dallas, which are both in the Cheekathon palette, and the Coral Blush, I think it's Dandelion for some reason, that's like sticking out in my head, but there is a Coral Blush that I wouldn't really wear because I don't really wear corals, so, for those reasons, it doesn't make sense for me to get the Cheekathon palette when I already have two blushes and won't use one. I would really just be repurchasing something I already have, so that doesn't really make sense uh, money-wise. That would be a silly decision on my part. However, I do love the Benefit Boxed blushes. I do want to try Benefit Hoola, so if you don't have any of those products, this would be a good option for you. Next is a product that has been highly raved about, and this could be pretty controversial, but it is the Kathleen Lights collab with Morphe. She just came out with an eyeshadow palette with Morphe, and it literally sold out in like 24 hours or 48 hours, like something crazy. And Kathleen said that once it was gone, the eyeshadow palette was gone, but she was like talking to Morphe. She was like trying to work with them to get them to bring it back, and Morphe did announce that they will be bringing the Kathleen Lights collab palette back in stock. It said before the holidays on their Instagram, but this is a palette that I'm going to pass on. I feel like there are a lot of shades 
that I already have. I already have some green shades. I have Bronx in my Mario palette. I have some Makeup Geek green shades. I have tons of browns, warm brown shades. I have blacks, I have cream shades. There's nothing in that palette that I look at and say, oh my gosh, I don't have any eyeshadow like that. And since I'm having issues with my eyelid being dry and irritated and I can't wear a lot of shadow and I already have a lot of eyeshadow, again, it just doesn't make sense for me at this time. However, I do have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Favorites collab palette that came out uh, two years ago, I think it was. And I do love Morphe eyeshadows. I just feel like I don't need this palette in my collection. So I'm gonna be passing. And the last product I wanna talk to you about is the MAC, what are they called? MAC Shade Scents. MAC is coming out with perfumes that are supposed to match certain lipstick shades. I don't know all of the shades. I'm gonna find a picture and insert it, but I know um, the Creme de Nude is their nude shade and they're coming out with a scent that's supposed to match that shade. Anyway, I'm very particular about my scents, my perfumes that I like to wear. And um, I mean, I think it's a cute idea, but I just, I'm very picky on my scents. I love C by Giorgio Armani and I don't feel like I need to get a perfume because it's named after a MAC lipstick. So that's just another product that I'm just not really that interested in. It's not calling my name and I'm gonna pass on it. That's it for this anti-haul video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Again, I am going to make this a monthly series. So each month I'm gonna come back and talk about some products that are coming out that I won't be getting. This is not meant to be a negative video, so I hope you guys don't take it that way. But if there are things that you're curious about that you're wondering if I'm going to purchase, feel free to list them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Does you publish? Does you publish? Does you publish? I know, I know, I know, I love you.